to your July Astro Dice reading. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Okay, this is where we take astrology and tarot and make a horoscope with the Astro Dice. Okay, we have the planet dice, which is the blue dice. The purple dice is the zodiac sign dice. And the green one is the houses. we roll them. Okay. And see what we get. We have the sun. And we have Libra coming in for you. And nine, in the ninth house. Okay, let's get right in here and see what's going on. Okay, going straight to, I have the astrology cards. Okay, and they have everything on them that we need. So looking for the sun, your immortal spirit, purpose, and destiny is involved. Okay, with Libra. The energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. Okay, and where is it in the in the ninth house? And the ninth house is broadening your horizons, either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. And it almost feels like you're on a, <laughs> a, a spiritual journey um, over here with your immortal spirit, um, getting down your purpose and your destiny, and then coming in as the ninth house. So, okay. And my tarot cards, getting straight over here to the sun. Clarify on the sun. Uh-oh. You stop doing that. Here that we go, right? Oh, they really don't like these because they're really uh, thin cards. <clears throat> okay. Clarify on the sun. There's one. Six of swords. Getting in your belt. Let's go. Let's go. You are on the move. You are on the move. Your destiny is waiting for you. You are on the move with the will of fortune. Yeah, definitely. Definitely getting destined over here. Your immortal soul is ready for destiny. Okay, and clarify on the Libra for me. You are on the move for a new destiny, for sure. Change. Change in cycles. Six of staffs. Uh-oh, with two of cups. Oh, got some love coming in. Is it love of self or just love in what you are doing? It feels like it's just, could be... All of the above right now I'm actually thinking it's sitting next to the wheel of fortune it's like I love going being where I'm going I know that where I'm on my way to is the place that's good for me over here ninth house you are holding tight to what you have and taking that control in July you are taking control of all the things you have you have hopes coming in you have the hope and the Sun and the five of swords upside down Wow okay Oh, I dropped that. Okay, so with the Ten of Swords over here, it's like I'm holding tight to this. I am not going to let this go. I know that I'm on a destined path. I've worked hard to get there. I stood my ground. With the Six of Staffs, I know exactly what's going on. I've had the resolutions, the realizations of what's do you know what's going on. I love where I am going. Hopes and promises of the sun. You guys could even be moving towards a Leo or love or a maybe a Gemini. And yeah. But whatever you're doing, you know that this is going to make you happiest that you've ever been before in a long time. That's why you are moving. You've thought about it and you've decided this is this is it. I've had the understanding of what needs to happen. It's like you're finally understanding that making, you know, money is not a bad thing. I know exactly where I need to go. This is going to help me grow. Okay, I'm getting rid of the conflictions within my life. I am taking the high road. Um, for a lot of you, maybe you're even just forgiving others and just saying, you know what, do whatever you want to do. I forgive you. Goodbye. All right. <clears throat> so clarify on the Wheel of Fortune over here. Let's see what's going on. 
page of kept somebody is not going to accept your apologies. I, I'm telling you, you're, you're trying to apologize to somebody and now they're telling you because you want to move towards your destiny and you're trying to be on a spiritual journey. It's almost like you were trying to give apologies to someone and they're saying, you know, I'm not going to accept your cups. And you could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, it doesn't have to be. It could just be a fire sign in general. You're weighing your options about what to do about this person because you really want to be on this new destiny and you feel like you have a purpose in life now. The purpose is, is to just move forward to get to the places you need to be because you've been manifesting and taking the action to do so for quite a while. Okay, over here, <clears throat> under the planet over here, you are the zodiac sign, excuse me. You have the six of of staffs and the you know the two of cups and it's like i've been doing everything i'm supposed to be doing i've even stood my ground i've worked hard um i don't want anything to go wrong this is the perfect timing for me to be here this is my victory you know this is absolutely my victory okay you may even have family members that you know seemed impossible to even deal with and demanded so much from you in the past that, you know, you're now putting those things behind you as well. Saying, you know, I'm going to do everything that I can, you know, to get all of this strength back. And stand my ground so that I can have the victory that I need. With the star over here, wishing, you know, and healing. You went through wishing and healing for yourself. And in July, you're going, you know, I'm still wishing in healing and everything is going to be okay. You just feel like everything is fine. You've had the clarity and the direction and you know, you know that you're in a renewal mode. You can feel it. You know it. Okay. You might have had that heart to heart conversation with your family. And if you haven't already had it, you're getting ready to have that heart to heart conversation with someone in your family to let them understand this is what's happening i'm not looking at situations that are not favorable to me anymore you have to understand that i'm moving forward okay and you're being very diplomatic over here remember because we're in libra so you're very gracious and very harmonious about this and you're trying to keep the balance within this relationship whether it's the relationship of love or it's a relationship within the family but you're letting them know Okay, this is the position that I'm in. I'm trying to go forward. And I want to move comfortably within my own skin around all of you harmoniously. No more fighting. No more stuff. It's over. And this is justified and it's going to keep you balanced. Right? It's making you balanced in July because you know the fighting is over. You know that you have communicated what you need to communicate. And if they don't want to see eye to eye with you, then there's nothing else that you can do. And that's pretty much what you're, what you're saying. Listen to me. I'm thinking logical. I'm talking logical. I'm giving you, you know, the graciousness from the bottom of my heart to let you know, this is how I feel. Okay. And then over here, yeah, you're just holding on. So pretty much <clears throat> your horoscope is... You're moving forward for yourself so that you can find the destiny that you need. You've been fighting hard for this destiny and holding tight to what it is that makes you happy. All the fighting and all the disagreements of what everybody, whoever your family, your friends, your relationships are, you've graciously let them know, you know, I'm, I forgive you for doing this to me, um, but I have to move on. And then some of, someone within that area, maybe, I'm just going to say a loved one, is not going to accept your apologies. But that's okay. You're saying that that's okay because you're going to move on anyways. Okay, to better yourself. Because you have different horizons that you need to get to. Because you're actually on a long journey to healing. Okay. So, and you're going to have so many more better luck and fortune coming your way. Once you do all of this healing and you say your apologies to these people, whether they accept it or not, it's going to change your luck and your cycles because now it's going to free so much stuff. And it literally, it says you're doing that because you're holding tight to what makes you happy. 
And really what makes you happy is getting in your boat and doing the things that you love. Okay? And that was the reading for you. And I will see you guys next time. Okay? And peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.